All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be an unboxing, and it is of the new Vostid Corgi. But you wouldn't be able to tell that from the package here. I actually have opened a Vostid knife before having intended to do an unboxing and not realized it was from Vostid. Uh, because you can see it's just coming from a shipping department, so it doesn't have the name on it. But uh, I do know that this is the Corgi, so I'm going to open it up here just with the knife I was carrying. Great Eastern Cutlery, number 15 TC Barlow. Set this aside, flip it over, and get this thing open. So, this is a new front and back flipper from Vosti, another Yui Dong design. You can see this is the Corgi, 14C28 and black stone wash steel, green micarta handles, and the Trek Lock, which is Yui's proprietary version of the button lock. So there's been some stuff where people had the, the button on a Trek Lock fall off because it is screwed in. Um, but apparently I actually asked and Yui is making sure that these have a really strong thread locker on them now. So there's the Corgi. My cousins, my cousin and his family have a Corgi. Uh, so they're definitely cute, cute little dogs. But then you also get a patch, you get a cleaning cloth, a card with Vostid support info, and then again, the specs. So there were a couple different versions. I got this one because I thought it looked cool with the green and black. And you can see that it does have a 2.99 inch blade. So if you are in somewhere where you can only have three inches or under, then this will fit. And like I, I think I mentioned, it is a front and back flipper. And really the thing that drew me to this knife is this very clean profile that it has. Extremely symmetrical, pretty much perfectly symmetrical. Show you that. The only thing that makes this handle not symmetrical, you know, on each side, is the Vostid logo. And actually, not only is it not symmetrical in itself, but it's actually a little off center too. <laughs> so interesting there. The blade sits super deep in the handle. Pretty well centered, it looks like. It's so deep down in there, you can't see it super well, but it seems to be pretty much perfectly centered. This looks like brass, and I really like the look of that gold with the green. You can see how low in there that button sits. And let's flip it. Hmm, interesting thing. So this just hit my finger there. Yeah, so you're gonna have to use a very much a light switch style flick and see about the front. The front work seems to work well. So yeah, you definitely have to not let your finger in the way. See that if your finger stops there, then that front flipper um, stops it. And I can see how maybe this is called the Corgi because of these two triangles looking like the triangular corgi ears. They're really exaggerated on this guy here, but um, maybe that's why I'm not 100% sure. Really serious lanyard cut out there. Definitely made the, actually put a lanyard on there. I think, you know, you just have to make sure that you do a light switch style flip. Um, but also this has a really classic drop point style blade almost what I would call spear point. Um, it's a good size, you know, three inches isn't a big knife, but seems like I can fit all four fingers on here really well. It, it's not like drop closed right now. I have to shake it. Um, but I've seen a couple of people say that theirs had a, uh, a weaker detent. Mine just doesn't, it's a pretty solid detent. Pretty much what, what I would think you would want on it. There we go. Also it was outside in the in the cold, um, so that doesn't help the action. Seems to flip well though. 
a little bit of stick, it feels like, but not a lot. It'll be interesting to see once this warms up from, you know, being inside for a while, how the action is. But I do definitely really like how symmetrical it is. So just set it down so you can get a good look at it there. And uh, it's just pretty much perfectly symmetrical. Seems like it would carry really well too. You know, the blade, the spine of the, the blade isn't going to be hitting against anything in your pocket because it's pretty much entirely covered by the blade well. Definitely flips well now that I'm actually getting my finger out of the way. Definitely flips well. And then, you know, recently I have kind of accepted front flippers and I think that this one is pretty well done. It seems like I like this style of front flipper where it is a hard corner like that. So yeah, interesting knife. Um, not, not an expensive knife. Under $60, I believe these were. Uh, there might have been a discount code. Uh, if you join the Facebook group, the Vostein Facebook group, they often put discount codes on there for people who are in the Facebook group. So um, yeah, cool knife. I think a uh, very good low profile EDC knife. You get uh, almost a full three inches out of it have a really cool, clean aesthetic. And yeah, another interesting knife from Vosteed. So we'll see how it breaks in. I'll probably do a full review after I've had it and used it for a while. Uh, see how the action is and everything. See if it loses the stick or develops more stick or keeps as it is, we'll see. Right now it seems like it might be lessening how much stick it has and smoothing out a little bit. So yeah, seems like it's going in the right direction. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel, click the bell and select all. So you know when I post new videos, you can also check out my other social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website knifethoughts.com where I'll post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.